Hey, so you're probably from my other video, which is a noise suppression battle royale. But if you're not from that video, you might want to check it on the description below because it's a video worth watching wherein you can actually hear the difference between the noise suppressions that are available in a Windows machine. Anyways, on that video, I promise I'll be making a tutorial video on how to use RN noise, which is the noise suppression baked into OBS and use it on a different program like maybe Zoom, Discord, Skype, I don't know, even in your games. So uh, yeah, let's hop onto my desktop. All right, now we are on my desktop. And as you can see, there's two files right here, which is the Windows RN noise, that zip, and the equalizer APO.exe. I'll show you how to get those. First, go to your browser and maybe check out my YouTube channel first and then watch the noise suppression video so you can hear the difference between all this noise suppression available on Windows. Uh, but yeah, moving on, we have the GitHub if you want to see how it works, how to install it on Linux, apparently. And our noise, uh, the site itself from sif.org, if I'm not mistaken, and on how RN noise works. And this is the download link for the RN noise VST. You just want to go here, click on Windows RN noise bin x64. I think you need a 64 bit system for this one, but you can try out, you know, the 32 bit one. This is a very low CPU usage. It barely affects your system if you use it. Uh, but yeah, moving on, we got equalizer APO. Just click download. So now you have both the files. So on the extractable file you just want to extract that of course i'll be using 7-zip just click extract files you can use winrar or whatever you know rar zip opener files you have and you receive this thing and now you can open it go to bin and you'll see vst and then libar noise underscore vst that dll now to install equalizer apo you want to run it as administrator next 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 install it now I will just press cancel on that one because I already have it installed and I'm actually using equalizer APO on the microphone right now. So what I want you to do is just press next, 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 and a configurator editor would appear. Now, what you want to do in that one is go into the recording tab and then find your microphone there. So uh, just press the checkbox, whatever you want to call it on the side of your microphone name, and then just press yes. Configurator editor would appear on your start menu, or you can just search it. Config editor and again i'm using equalizer apo on the microphone right at this moment so i cannot really change much of my settings but i'll show you how everything works all right so don't mind me equipping my headband band band because my hair keeps falling forward anyway here we go apo not installed to a device now i already have it installed in my scenix 802 which is the mixer that goes into my computer wherein this pod mic is hooked up so this thing would pop up and what you want to do here is just press no but I'll show you the configurator editor real quick right here. So as you can see, this would pop up while you are installing Equalizer APO before you reboot the device. So you go to capture devices, which is a recording tab that I've said earlier, and this is the microphone. And then you just tick the box to its left and yeah, you get it installed. Just press close after that or after you reboot. Now there's a lot of stuff already in here. First thing that you would do is delete everything that you see. You press the arrows and then click remove. I won't because again, I'm using it as of this moment. So I'll just show you how it works. Now, first thing that you would do is plus control device. Select your microphone. Next, you would do another plus and then go to control and then click include. Now you'd have both of this tab now. Now on the include part, you don't have anything yet. So what I want you to do is press new and then it says unsafe. Click save and this would pop up. Now I have my name podmic.txt. So that's the file that I made. And yeah, that just works like that. Now there would be no second tab. It will probably be the um, the new file that you have just created. So what, what you're going to do next is click open and then open up the text file that you've made. Now I have podmic.txt. There's already a lot of stuff in here on the podmic.txt that I have. Don't worry about the one, two, three, four, five. All you're gonna worry about in this tutorial video right now is the number six, because I'll be making a video on how you can make a very cheap microphone sound way better using this exact program. I'll introduce you guys to the one, two, three, four, five tab that I have right here uh, on that video. But anyways, on my number six here, let's just say that's your number one. What you're gonna do is click plus or add filter and then go to plugins and then VST plugin. Now this would be blank. There would be no directory file, whatever. What you wanna do is put your RN noise, that DLL to 
wherever you think you're gonna save most of your plugins at or most of your vsts you can even just put it on your documents uh, but yeah you want to locate it by clicking the open uh, folder right here and then just locate it uh, i have it already here so the lib or rn noise underscore vst that dll so i'm just press open and again i'm already using it so i don't have to do anything on that and uh yeah that's it uh rn noise is working it's literally the same rn noise that you're gonna find in obs which is on filters and then noise suppression then okay and this is the same the same rn noise and if you want to hear the difference between the rtx voice crisp and this rn noise that i'm using right now and that is shown in this tutorial then you might want to watch the video that i have that i keep on advertising for some reason uh but yeah that's it and um it just works you just press save press save on config file exit everything still works nothing would have changed uh, except that now your microphone has a built-in noise suppressor what a quick video i don't know might be a little confusing but i'll make an, uh, a more in-depth kind of video on how do those certain other one two three four five tabs or many tabs that i have open or installed in there many vsts uh but yeah for this video i'll keep it that short i don't know if it's still short but um yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully it helped you if you have any question on how you can use the rn noise still for some reason if it's not clear enough you can comment it on the comment section below and you can even message me on discord if you want to join my discord server links for everything on the description down below hopefully you can like this video if it did help you and share it with your friends who you think have a very noisy airy background and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i would see you all in my next video have a good day.